What did you think of the 200th Bob's Burgers episode? Bob Belcher and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad kids. Um, I liked it. Um, it was a shame that the kids tried to burn the restaurant down, but I didn't show that they were trying to do that. They were trying to improve the sculpture on the sly without directly confronting their mom and hurting her feelings, I guess. Um, and I don't know, I like the way they redeem themselves by trying to, you know, wanting to make things better, even, but not being willing to throw a rock through the window, not, not being willing to actually steal. Yeah, I thought it was interesting and funny to see them try to rationalize if they should throw a brick through a window or not to steal the crumbler because they think that because they think that doing another bad thing could uh, to fix the other bad thing we did. And it would be, you know, I had two little deep songs. I think it's been happening with the anime. Yeah, probably. Right, Carol, what are you going to say about uh, the Torn Falls Bruce episode? Did the woman at the end sound familiar? Did, you, did her voice remind you of anyone? <coughs> mm-hmm. What do you say, Mom? Stephanie <laughs> No, be, uh, Beatrice. Um, Stephanie Beatrice. Right. Yeah, she's, yeah I know. I'm getting mixed up with her character name from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed Pam sounded exactly like Connolly, her character from Told Forever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all forever. It's a good show. Like I canceled after one season. I thought it was really. I thought it was. It was I thought it was a very special treat for me to get to hear Connolly's voice again at the end of Bob's Burger 200th episode when it came a year after it's all forever. Yeah, that's her voice. That's her voice acting voice, I guess. Huh? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a nice treat. She also voices Chloe. She also voices Chloe Barbash in several episodes of Bob's Burgers before this one. Oh. After this one. Well, mm -hmm. do you think, Lynn, do you think, uh, yeah, I mean, I liked how, um, I liked how at the end, I, I liked how at the end that they, it kept, I liked how at the ending kept it, I, I liked how, like, you know, the ending kept it vague as to whether or not Linda Sculpture actually won or lost, like, you know, Linda thought when, like, when these two guys came out and took a picture of the, of the mermaid sculpture, Linda guessed that they could be the judges taking pictures for the, you know, the newspaper or you know, wherever, or wherever they, they'd announce the winners. And uh, you know, even and uh, you know, while we never get to know if Linda was right about that, it's nice that they gave her hope up for that her, that her uh, strange, that her strange-looking mermaid sculpture would win. Yeah, those people liked it enough to uh, say it was the best and take a selfie with it. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judges or not, I'm so glad that Linda found somebody who liked her sculpture. Me too. And unlike the guy across the street, she actually made a sculpture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, out there Jimmy Pezzo try to pretend that Trevor was a sculpture. Yeah, hey, you know Mabel, I think Linda Belcher's mermaid sculpture would probably make a very good mystery shack exhibit, don't you think? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Oh, can you just please add me can I say that Mabel's voice? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so too, I mean it's uh it would uh, definitely be far less dangerous. You know, scary looks would definitely be far less dangerous to look at than the Grim Goblin. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, uh, I'm glad you like the 200th episode. I definitely think it's one of our very best episodes, along with two different new ones.
Yeah, at the beginning of Fuji Manures, Bob said something very important that TD Belcher would have to keep in mind in the entire story. He said, uh, and Bob said that, you know, when he started, when he and Linda started about the burgers, they, there's, uh, <clears throat> I think he said, uh, when he started this restaurant, we could have two nickels. And then Linda said, the other one will run to the fridge. <laughs> And then Bob said, <laughs> but what we did have was a promise, a promise that we would, that we would never compromise on quality. Never, 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 ever, Gene, and then Gene asked me. So sometimes, and then Bob said, no, never, ever. stuck on the toilet. Did I see that one? I think so. It was called Food, Where's My Bomb? <laughs> I forgot. It was good. I don't want to see it again sometime soon. Mom? Mm -hmm. You know what I wish the 300 pounds burgers? You want to know what I wish the 300 pounds burgers? That's what we read about? I think that, oh, I think the 300th episode should focus on the kids from Jimmy's Pesto's Pizzeria, only now since Jimmy Pesto's voice actor got fired, like the 200th and 300th episodes because of what he did on the 10 year anniversary of Bob's Burgers, January 6, 2021. Yeah, it would be interesting to, it would be kind of interesting to see Trev, it would be kind of cool to see Trevor and the, how oh, Trevor and the Pesto children, you know, that's, you know, Jimmy Jr., Annie and Ollie, and uh, their unseen mother, you know, it'll be kind of cool. It just, be, I think, it would like, it'll be kind of cool to see how they might have to run Jimmy Pesto's pizzeria without Jimmy Pesto. And use that as a video. You think the 300th episode should get to? Would you like to the 300th episode focus on the Pesto family? Pesto family without Jimmy Pesto, sure. Okay, I guess that's like, I guess that you can see it. And of course, I'm sure all five of the main Belcher family members of this Belcher family character will still be in it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Bob Belcher and Jimmy Jr. actually have the same voice actor. Oh. Uh, Jocelyn has the same voice actor as Linda. I think it's a shame we've never actually gotten to, uh, never actually, I don't think we've ever actually seen them on screen together yet, but I have seen, but I have seen Bob Belcher in some of the same scenes as Jimmy Jr. in several episodes like, uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, Sheesh Cow Bob, when he was, well, which is, you know, seeing it every night of dead. Jimmy Jimmy was your birthday and then the the Pesto Twins were playing around the basement with uh, with Louise and Nick and also Gene. And Bob and Deliver, you know, when uh, Bob was the subject of the teacher for the whole economics class, you know, it, it included uh, Tina, Peter, Zeke, Jimmy Jr. and Jocelyn. So yeah, I definitely have seen Bob in some of the same scenes as Jimmy Jr., but you know the Pesto kid sound like him, but we've never asked, but it's too bad we haven't seen Linda and Jocelyn together. Yeah, you know, Jocelyn's at Girl, you see next to Tammy a lot. I mean, Jocelyn, I know it's Jocelyn sound, that sounds all like Linda, but it's a voice actor. So, it's the same voice actor. Well, that's all I have to say. Well, that's all I got to say about the 200th episode of Buzz Burgers. Thanks for watching, people. If you liked uh, seeing my mom and I have one of our uh, meal discussions, you know, be sure to like and subscribe. We got another video like this talking about what I wanted, what I. Which Crowdy Falls could do with their team in Piedmont.